Hey guys, it's Kopiko Star here. And today I want to talk about this bow technique book. Um, I think it's kind of a hidden gem because it's called the Sevik, Sev Kick or Sev Chick, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, bow technique book opus two book number one so this book you can actually just download from imslp but you could download from imslp if you just google search sev chick uh bowing technique book imslp and um i just want to show you i just want to show you a little bit of this book so in the beginning of the book it it tells you like there's a uh, legend like i said you you kind of have it's weird you, you kind of have to remember the letters like uh a uh, hobo is g for some reason i think it's because of the language you just have to remember hobo is g half bow is h for example uh is lower half of the bow like etc etc um these these are the things that you want to know so that you know what they're trying to train you in uh, and if you flip over to page nine this is where i think this is where it has something i really like and i think that's really helpful and uh, more people should know about it so you have how this works is that you have this you have this little passage over here it's, it's kind of, it's very cute. It's like, it's like this. Anyway, etc. right? There's, it's like all quarter notes and you can actually have like your teacher or a friend or another, another player play along with you on the bottom parts and it's like very cute it's like very nicely harmonized so once you memorize that the rest of these little tiny little exercises like you can see number one number two number three they are just different ways that you should play uh that passage like different bow strokes that you should play in that that, that passage for example um, the beginning, the number one says GG, which <laughs> GG, it means hobo hobo, right? And then and, and that gives you a metronome number like it says 88. So you want to play it like Well, that's that's kind of boring, right? I want to show you you can pick the bow technique that you want to learn and You can pick the bow technique that are interesting to you so like if if you look at this you're like oh my gosh i hate this right but like let's pick something more interesting like if you flip you flip uh to the next page page 10 look at number 67 you have uh it's it's, it's triplets triplets it says middle of the bow 116 with accents this is for example to me this is more interesting right so triplets. So you, you insert that in and you, you do this. Etc. Uh, but it gets better. It gets better. So like um I'll show you a few examples from these. Uh number sixty-eight, it goes like you have a triplet, three dots, right? And it says middle of the bow. And assuming that it's the same speed, 116. So you, you, you would want to turn on your metronome to make sure uh, it's at 116 and make sure that you could do it like that. But anyway, I'm gonna just YOLO, so. And you have more patterns. 69 is like, Seventy 
one. Okay, assembly one. Here's a little more complicated one. Assembly one is like, do the triplets at the frog, and then the next measure is still part of assembly one, and then do the whole bow, and then do the triplets at the tip. SP is tip for some reason. So you're like. So you can actually figure out which patterns are very interesting and that you're weak at. And then um, if you purposely, you can just purposely grind those patterns that are more interesting like the triplets and that you're weak at and you'll, I don't know, you, you can have fun and improve your bow technique at the same time. But it gets better. So if I turn to the next page, let's see. We have more patterns. We have so many more patterns. And some of these are pretty fun. <clears throat> let's turn to the next page. Here's page 11, right? Number 80, we have... Number 80 is just all right, two dots. But 81 is more. I'll show you 80. 80 is like this. One is 16 notes with accent, so it's like this one's like particularly useful because you have to play if you want to play um, something fast and awesome and fiery. You need to be able to do. Oftentimes, you need to be able to do uh, 16 notes with accents. You know, you want to do that well because. A lot of fiery, fast, and cool pieces need this. So that's one that you want. And then 82. It's like, 82 is like one group of 16 notes. And then three groups of dotted, dotty egg notes. Uh, that's going to start to help. That's going to help you uh, switch out of the 16th note pattern. So like when you're, let's say you're like doing something crazy, like duh, 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 like really fast. And then you, you need to switch out of there. Well, you can practice that with these two. You could be like. And then you have 83, which is doing two of those and switching out. Have, uh, let's see at 118 you have dotted patterns so you have like it says uh, frog and middle I guess so you have um, and then you have tip also and then you also have Flip to the next page. Um, it gets insane. Like if you want to get insane, you can. You we have like a, we got like up bow staccatos also that you can learn if you want to. For example, what's insane? Um, a post let's see, uh, we have 151. 151. Actually, one, oh god, 167. Look at 167. Look at this. Man, my, my down, like, up post staccatos. I'm not good at down ones. I'm not good at down. Down ones are harder than up ones. I'm gonna start out. Up oh, ones are much easier. Down are so much harder. I'm gonna do it slower. So if you 
want to be good at a bow staccato or even down bow staccato, you can do that also. But wait, there's more. Look at the next page, page 13. If you want uh, to, if you want to be able to spiccato, this is like what everybody wants, but don't want to practice for. Right? <laughs> if you want to play that flight of the bumblebee with that nice bounce, you have that too. Look at 221 and look at 222. You have I just want to let everybody know that this exists. This is on IMSLP. You can just download it, and you, it's so it's so nice. You you you. There's also a another version, but I'm I'm just gonna talk about this one today. Uh, why did I start from page nine? Because I think page nine is the most interesting. Like if before page nine, honestly, they're useful, but it's. Honestly, it's kind of boring before page 9. So that's why I just said to start on page 9 because you have, that is the cutest little passage ever. And there are so many useful and less boring patterns that you can learn uh, from this one. Yeah, so I hope you guys are all having a nice day. And I'll talk to you guys later.